Yeah, we need to find out if it's at their end. Uh, the, it has to be. Yeah.
for the privacy for the neighbors. Are you asking for that because the neighbors asked for it? No. There's I'm just also, I'm just curious. It's not yeah. There's also on the uh, Maple's Maple side, they they actually have a retaining wall that's concrete from four to five foot in the in the air, and then they have a six foot privacy fence on top of that. So actually we'd be kind of in flowing fire. in to the height of their fence. So oh. it actually keeps it kind of consistent in that respect. Okay. Do you have any pictures of that? Uh, not of that look. Okay. Not of what it looks like right now. Right. Yeah, no, I don't have any pictures. Okay. Um, I feel like that fence is a bit of a trade off, and I don't know where. I, I think that's probably a, a more of a planning commission thing than it is us. The only thing for us would be the massing of that. And the massing feels like a structure to me that high next to the building. Um, there's other ways to screen above eight feet, um, which would be doable. But I also know privacy is an issue and sound control is an issue. So I, I actually do have a picture. Kind of oh. like an idea yes. of what it is. What it looks like right now. Cut it up to maple. Um, so there's their fence, mm -hmm. which is a 10 foot high. And this side actually is six yes. foot and yep. the backyard's actually eight foot. Um, How high is their fence? Their fence right there is 10 foot. That's the um, the maple wood, the, the bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then there's you could just like, kind of zoom in a little bit. So then you're proposing so, to do 10 foot from to there match to match that height to come across. In the drawings, is this rendered as eight Keep foot or 10? Eight, eight, okay. So you're basically going to come up to the roof line. Oh, so on a visual. Yeah, right. Where, or, yeah, basically a little section. more or less where her right, 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 right. So on the all, corner, on yeah. her corner. Okay. Mm, okay. Thank you. So this will be this is only eight on this rendering. This is what we're talking about. It's gonna come yeah. up there, but it's yeah, gonna match in the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you email that to me when you get a chance? <clears throat> There's a couple of schools of thought on that. There's take away the inconsistency and the weirdness in the corner and make it consistent. There's there's the notion of sound and visual privacy. Visual can be accomplished other ways. Sound probably not quite so much. There's the notion of cleaning that whole thing up. And there's the notion of how it fits with the massing of the structure. But it's a non-contributing structure. So, I also, it's, a, it's not that big of a spot. Um, so I don't know if anyone else has comments about that particular part of this or not before we go to a motion, but. I mean, this is really the view from the parking, the post office parking lot. Right, right. With, and then <gasps> Maplewood parking is here. Mm -hmm. And there's a 10 foot fence right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think. Uh, um, for no other reason, the fact that it will tie in at the same level, I think, would be more appealing than if it were different levels. Mm -hmm. I think there's this also, this is where color really does make a difference, because if you were to, to um, burnish that wood and make it black or paint it black, that's a big black wall. Versus if you're making it cedar and it's horizontal, it feels a little more natural and less of an affront to you in the parking lot. Um, this is nice with it. Right. The degree. Okay. Right. Yep. So. yep. Yeah, and there are ways, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is the fence on the lot line? Or how far back from the lot line is the fence? It's right on the lot line. It is? Okay. I was just asking because Wondering if you could put, I mean, not that we have any control over that, but some kind of planting so that it's not a big, massive wall. But it's not as it's not in, in the rendering, it's black and it's not going to be black. So. Correct. And will age naturally too over time mm -hmm. to feel a little more natural. Yeah. Lots of ivy growing up over there in that area too. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. yeah. Yes. 
I thought so. I, never mind. I saw type happening on the screen. I was like, wait, someone's going to realize it's just recording us. Um, are there any other comments? I've been on too many Zoom meetings for too long. <laughs> any other questions or comments? Does anyone have a motion they'd like to prepare? We have a sample motion. You can make one. I'll go ahead and make a motion. Uh, I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve uh, application P dash dash H I S dash two two zero zero two forty nine Water Street one twenty one Mary Street uh, with the following comments uh, that the fence will be natural, all vertical, replacing. No, horizontal. horizontal, not vertical, thank you. Horizontal, not vertical, replacing all existing fencing mm -hmm. with new fencing uh, per the plan. In cedar. In cedar, mm -hmm. uh, natural un, or, or stained, but cedar, not painted. Um, noting the new light placement on the structure and gas lights uh, per the spec sheet. Noting the spec sheet in the packet of simulated uh, divided light, which is according to our guidelines uh, appropriate uh, for the doors, um, windows as noted on the east side, and that the applicant will come back uh, if they choose to replace any other windows for a separate application and to follow all existing guidelines and new construction guidelines uh, for a non contributing structure. Height of the fence? Height of the fence is as submitted at 10 feet to match the existing fence that's already on an adjacent property. A second. A second? Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by saying yes. 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 Opposed? Okay. Motion carries. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you. Uh, are there any administrative approvals or updates? Yes, I have one that was done just today. That is the Verizon small cell tower that we asked to be relocated near or to the dumpsters at Singapore Yacht Club. Now have an alternate location, which is even less intrusive, that it would be um, in front of Maros, in front on Water Street side. Um, there would be some tree removal involved and that um, and some tree trimming. They have two out of the three approvals that they need for that. They still need to get their RF engineer to approve the new location. But um, in the, the, the location that you approved last time is feasible to do that without taking up a parking space. So um, that's just an administrative approval. And if you have objections to that, you should tell me now. They have approval to use that poll. They have approval from consumers oh. and consumer is going to actually replace that poll with a 40 foot tall poll. Yeah. Um, Verizon. Verizon, yes, <clears throat> for the small cell. One of the things that the council determined was very important to the residents came out top of the list of things that they want, improved cell coverage mm -hmm. and Wi-Fi. I, th I think that's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, during the application process, I think we were trying to protect green space and water views mm -hmm. yeah. um, and not add another pole next to a pole. Right. So I don't know that we fully explored all the other locations. I remember making a comment in that meeting about, I would imagine that property owners would not want it outside their um, their window. So the fact that a property owner is okay with that is awesome. Good community stewardship. And I think it's great for everyone. Much needed. So that's the only, if they can't get the RF approval, then it will still be in the original close to the dumpsters of Singapore Yacht Club. Okay. But they're trying very hard to get that approved because they want to make everybody happy not just a few people. What is the RF approval? Radio frequency, some kind of coverage map. Mm. They they do 
studies with their engineering group to make sure that um, it gets the coverage that they want. Gotcha. Get the bang for their buck. They won't just put up one behind a wall that you won't get any coverage. So that was great of Miles to volunteer that. Mm -hmm. And um, just for my own knowledge, we could have this application again for AT&T or another provider, correct? Yes, definitely we could. Okay. So it's good to also have the groundwork done of knowing where locations exist so that we can be informed the next time it might happen. Yes. Okay. Um, so the AT&T coverage is much better than Verizon in this area. I can tell Verizon you. wants to have this up and running by May. Okay, good. Any other administrative reports? No. Okay. Uh, is there any communication? We have the two letters. Thank you for that. Uh, I'll just acknowledge that we have a letter from Chief Janik um, about the previous application. And we also had a letter from uh, Gary Medler uh, about the previous application, which were both letters were in our packet. And um, commissioners did have that in their packet prior to today's meeting, but we have hard copies here. This is actually Catherine Simon. Sorry, Catherine Simon. I read Janik at the top. From Catherine Simon. Sorry, Catherine. Thank you. Thanks for that correction. You're welcome. <clears throat> um, no communication uh, beyond that. Is there any public comment? Catherine Simon, 428 Butler Street. Um, I do not have an issue with the fencing right here in the corner abutting my property. I do have an issue now that that's been approved that in a prior presentation, you had fencing here that you pointed out at the planning meeting. I don't think you ever showed fencing there. He pointed to it on the survey. That was the backyard. That's the backyard. Well, you. Yeah, we never went yeah. over there. All right, but you pointed to my property and you're clear about that. Well, you yes, understand. In the back. All right. Of Jason's property. All right. Correct. Now, my concern is this that the IBN, have they been notified of the screening? Yeah. They will be to will, your changes because your changes are tonight. This is not the planning commission meeting, right? But they will be advised. They will be noticed. They will be notified of the changes. But it's after the fact. It's a different approval, and the planning no, commission no, no. could say no. I understand the planning can say no, but historic has made a motion and passed it based on aesthetics this evening. So it seems a little unfair to me if I had not come and asked for the update that you sent me, but even tonight there was an additional update and changes to it being vertical versus lateral, et cetera. Am I correct? Uh, um, Catherine got the same revised drawing that right, did. Right. So. Uh, I guess to the point of the, I, I don't think the planning commission is going to care about horizontal versus vertical. So that was aesthetic right. for us for clarity on the application. Yes. They will care about the height, um, and the if they if they require a variance, and if they determine that, they can determine that, right. and th they override us now, um, this on that. Right here, has that gotten higher? No. Yeah. I think that's perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that will be lateral? Yes, yeah, all of that will be lateral. <clears throat> including the garbage screen? Yes. Not the gate. Yeah, everything's going to be lateral. Everything will be unified. Oh, yes. yes. All right. Everything and the lateral. gate is coming out on this area right here? Look, uh, Chief requested us to put a little gate right there. Emergency exit. A door? Yeah, yeah a gate. All right. OK. Um, I guess I'll have to think through the other changes that were made. I do want to correct you. I don't have a 10 foot fence 
from the deck. Right, but from the right. lower grade, right. it's Ground 10 feet. Ground that right. screens the base of the pool. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. And the city's already involved in, I think, is it ongoing or is it being filed? The screening across the water. Screening across uh, the water. Is that by the chain carry? Yes. Uh, oh, that's, that's still in litigation. Us. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying we have to be aware that. Yeah. Yeah, that's not in a historic district over there, though. Nothing to do with us. Right. Nothing to do with us. But it's 10 foot or 8 foot. Or yeah, I think that's a planning commission okay. conversation. All right, that's all I got. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Anyone else have anything? I would just, um, I think Catherine brings up a point that I just want to make for the record that it is, it's, n it's not uncommon at all for an applicant to bring updated drawings to these meetings, and we admit those as part of the application. The, the bulk of the application needs to be submitted, um, but there's frequently changes. I think when this changes substantially alter the application, um, that's when we usually table it or need more information or move it to the next meeting. Um, I think that's largely, yeah, Catherine. I just wanna add, I do not have a problem if this fencing ends up at the level of mine. I walked out there and tried to measure, but there's a snow pile in my corner. And your ground is a little lower than mine. So it might even be a few inches different, but it would be aesthetically more attractive if they're even. Great. Agreed. Agreed. Thank you. Is there any commission comment? Nope. Comment it out. Okay. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So be it. Second. 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 All in favor signify by saying yes. 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 All right. We are adjourned. Thank you. Thanks everyone for coming today. Uh, I did. Oh, okay. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for being here. Called me when I was on vacation to ask me if I'd seen the drawings. Oh, yeah. And, no, I'm on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, quick question. Yeah. So this summer, I'm going to want to do some things to my home on Butler Street. Obviously, I'm going to have to get approval. Do I need to resign from the. No. 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 You can. You... Thank you. Just expire. Thanks, Chris.